Hi, uh, we're going to take a look at the Alton effect and how that can be applied with Affinity Photo. Um, I can't take the credit for the video. Basically I hunted down on YouTube various uh, uh, videos and the best one I could find was produced by Carl Surrey. So give a uh, thanks to Carl Surrey. Now if we step into uh, Affinity Photo, here's the end product. You can see the image it looks quite dreamy, quite ethereal compared to what the photo originally looked like. So we can see here the effect that it's going to have. So what I'm going to do is step right back and we'll go through this manually. So what we want to do is duplicate this layer twice and on the top one we'll set the blend mode to screen. This will lighten the areas of the, of the photo uh, and then what we can do is merge that with the one below. That's why you needed two. This one we will now take and duplicate it and this time we'll use a multiply blend mode. And this uh, basically duplicates the photo and makes it, makes it darker in areas where it's already dark, etc. So once we've got this, the main effect is done by adding a Gaussian blur to this, to this layer. So we'll pick Gaussian and we'll just ramp it up until we get to a point where we like the actual effect. And as you can see, it, it does change as you're going through. So it's really up to you which, which one you prefer. Uh, I'm going to leave it about 79 pixels. But this, uh, this value of, of amount of blur will vary on every photo you tr try to apply it to. Okay, once we've got that, um, that is the basic technique. So what we can do now is uh, I'll repeat it just purely so that uh, you can go through the steps again. So what I've got here is a, a combined layer where after I've done some edits and I can do exactly the same thing. So I can duplicate, duplicate again, set the blend mode to screen, merge down, uh, duplicate that and set the blend mode to multiply and then apply a Gaussian blur and we just pull that up and you can see the effect it's softening the image making it more uh, silky okay and the final one we're just going to do a, a, a flower here but instead of doing all those steps, I recorded those steps. So I've actually got in my library of macros the Alton effect. And I just can just simply apply that. And it will take all those steps and do it for you. Now I have got another video on um, how to record a macro. But part of the uh, uh, what I'll be up, you'll be able to uh, download is a macro I've already created called the Alton Effect and you'll be able to import that uh, and use it yourself. Now the way you can import is if I just um, clear the macro oh, sorry, cancel, clear it. Now these two panels here is Library and Macro. To show them go to View, Studio and you've got library and macro here. Just turn those on if they're not already on the screen. On the macro side, you have got an option to import. And basically, I'll give you that as a download. You can import that. And what you can do is just simply hit the play button. And it'll apply the effect. The nice thing is, of course, because these are all non-destructive uh, as far as the, the, the Gaussian blur is concerned, as you can see it's here, I can turn that off and on. I can also double click it and adjust it. So what's, what would be the correct radius on one photo may be different on another. So you can, you can play with that and suit yourself.
Okay. Same goes with the tiger here. We can just double click on the, the blur and we can reduce it or increase it. Thank you very much.